Hi, everybody. Welcome back. And right now we have our comedian from New Hampshire. He's Carl Zahn. Hi, Carl. Hey, Can't believe I'm finally on the Steve Katzis show. My name's Carl Zahn. I'm a New Hampshire native, a crazy little state up there. We do crazy stuff. Recently, we legalized gay marriage and outlawed helium balloons. <laughs> Apparently, the problem with the helium balloons, they float up, they break, they land in the ocean, and seagulls were choking on the deflated balloons. Now, if you're like me and you've been by a landfill recently or been to the beach, I'm sure you've noticed the critical seagull shortage. <laughs> Last time I went by a landfill, I thought it was raining blueberry yogurt. Go to the beach, I can't take a raisin out without a seagull swimming down and taking it away. When I go to the beach now, I bring a french fry box full of empty balloons. <laughs> you know, when you grow up in New Hampshire, everything in the outside world seems crazy. Um, it's a crazy country. We had a Hooters airline in this country. Is that really necessary? You know, when I fly, I'm always thinking of crazy stuff like experienced pilots, airline safety record. And then a friend of mine told me Hooters is the only airline where the flight attendants can be used as a flotation device. <laughs> it's the only airline where the pilots seek out turbulence. <laughs> From the flight deck, ladies and gentlemen, we're bringing it up to 35,000 feet. We've got some moderate to light chop up there. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Please brace for the barrel roll portion of our flight. What's up with my left nut? I've, no, I mean the saying. I give my left nut for this, I give my left nut for that. I've heard thousands of people say that. I've never seen anyone follow through with that commitment. There's a game show, Howie Mandel with a scalpel. Speaking of airlines, we started an airline in this country about a month ago just for pets. They have five airplanes, and the pets sit where the people used to sit. Now, this is the only airline where the passengers pee on the tires before the plane takes off. It's the only airline where the in-flight snack is snossages. <laughs> the movie on the pet airline features a slow-moving bus and a mailman with a wooden leg. <laughs> crazy stuff with politics, huh? Everything is just crazy with politics. The economy is so bad that my ancestors are buying Chrysler, the Italians, <laughs> which henceforth will be known as Chryslerini. Every new Chrysler comes with a shovel and a bag of lime in the trunk. <laughs> the voice on the new Chrysler GPS navigation system, this is the voice. Hey, jerk off, you missed the left on Jerome Avenue. Turn this car around. <laughs> That's also the worst Joe Pesci imitation you'll probably ever hear. Crazy with politics, too. I can't really say anything about our president yet. It's early in the game, but has anyone seen our new Homeland Defense Secretary, Janet Napolitano? Crazy, right? She looks like Thing 3 from Cat in a Hat. It's like she was halfway through a werewolf transition and the moon went out. My God. Like Leonard Nimoy on drag. You know, if I wake up in the morning and I have a ferret on my head, I don't comb it and go to work. Okay, doll? Nancy Pelosi is scheduled to blink in July 2010. You want to write that down? This will be big like Haley's Comet. You bring the kids out on the lawn. Also flying, I'm a pilot, so I'm always interested in pilot, uh, pilot stuff. Uh, a month or so ago, this Continental flight from Brussels to Newark, and the captain died en route, and they came out and they asked if there was a pilot on board. What's the co-pilot doing, knitting? <laughs> Don't come out and ask if there's a pilot on board. I like to end with a love story. Uh, about six months ago, this doctor in Long Island gave his wife a kidney. Anyone remember this story? His wife was dying, he gave her a kidney and then she left him for the post-transplant physical therapist. <laughs> How awful is that? And the guys all over the news going, I want my kidney back, I want my kidney back. I'm going, pal, you know how many guys wish they could have got rid of that first wife for just a kidney? <laughs> then I heard him on Nancy Grace going, I'd give my left nut to get that kidney back. <laughs> thanks so much, folks, and thanks for Steve Katzis for having me. All right, Carl's on, everybody. We'll be right back.